Hi, my name is Dan with ENS Security, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the People County Analytics on the Uniview system on the web browser and on the NVR interface. Before we begin, I always like to remind everyone, make sure that the camera and the NVR always support the features that you want and have the latest firmware. And to begin, I'm going to show you how to set up the People County Analytics on the web browser interface. So what you're going to want to do first is make sure you have Internet Explorer browser open, okay? And then of course make sure you have your ActiveX settings enabled as well too. You're going to type in the IP address of the NVR in the URL here, and then you're going to see the login page. So then you're going to go ahead and put in your username, admin, by default, which is all lowercase. Then you're going to put in the password that you created. In my example here, I put an ENS12345 lowercase. Click login. Okay, so the first thing as usual, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I can see the camera that I want to see in mainstream mode. Okay, and then I want to verify that the view that I want is correct. Okay, if not, then I can go ahead and adjust it later on. Then I'm going to go into the setup here, and then I'm going to go into the client. Under client, as usual, I'm going to have the intelligent mark on so you can see the analytics in live view. Then you click save. Okay. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the smart menu here and set up the analytics, okay? So make sure that you have the correct camera selected, which is D3 in this example. Then I'm going to go down here to people counting, okay? So you're going to check the box, click on the little gear icon here, and then um, you're going to see some settings here. Now you see that shoulder demarcation is on or off. That's actually optional, so I like to typically leave it off, okay? Sensitivity, I like to leave it at 50 for default because if you set it too high, then it could be counting um, different objects or activity as a person. So you want to make sure you set it to default first and then adjust accordingly, okay? Then you can see here there's a little line already in whichever direction. So you have the option here of going either from B to A or A to B, okay? So for now, I'm going to just leave it from A to B. So that means the person that's going through the people counting line is going to be heading towards the direction of the camera. Of course, you can always adjust it, okay? So if you click Start Drawing, just to kind of give you an idea, you can actually modify the length and the position of it. So if I want to make it longer, I can do that as well, okay? And then here, you're going to see an option that's called Clear Counting Results. That means that on the live view, when it starts counting people, uh, if you don't want those analytics on there, you can actually clear the account, okay? Once you're done there, you're going to go ahead and click Save. And then you're going to go to the live view, and then again, select the camera. And then you can see in the upper left hand corner, you have an entry menu here, which is going to count the number of people. Okay. One other thing I want to mention is go to setup and then you're going to go to the camera. And if you also want to record this as an event, uh, don't forget to enable your recording schedule as well too. So you're going to go to schedule and then again, select the camera that you want D3. And then make sure under the edit option, of course, make sure it's set to event or whatever schedule that you want. So in this example, I'm going to use event, copy to all, okay, and then hit save. Do the same thing for the snapshot schedule. Edit, switch it from normal to event, copy to all, and click OK, and then hit save, okay? So now we're going to go to live view again. Make sure it's in mainstream mode so you have a clear view of the image. And now we're going to demonstrate the people counting in action. So as you can see here, it says entry is zero. So we're going to wait for a few people to walk through and you're going to see the numbers change momentarily. As you can see, first person got picked up and now the second person got picked up. Okay. So that's pretty much how it works. So how we're going to do uh, to search for it is you're going to go in the smart menu. Then under versus people counting, you're going to go to versus statistics. Okay. Then under the select camera, you're going to select camera three, which is this example's camera. And then under the report type, you have the option of doing daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. Okay. Then the counting type, you have the option of uh, doing total count or just the people entered or people left. So in this example, we're just going to do people entered. And then you have the option of displaying this as a chart or a table. Okay. So I selected chart for this example. We're going to select count. And now you can see the, uh, the, uh, the chart being displayed. Okay. If I want to display this as a table, just go ahead and select table and then you can see the total counts there. Okay? And that's how you do it. And now I'm going to show you how to set up the people counting on the NVR itself. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure, of course, I can see the uh, live camera view, okay? Then I'm gonna go to the main menu, and then I'm gonna go into the system, and then under where it intelligent mark, I'm gonna apply that, okay? Click exit. Then after that, I'm gonna go into the VCA menu, make sure the right camera is selected, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and select people counting, check the box, and then go into the gear icon here. Then here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select which direction, okay? So I'm gonna keep it the same, which is A to B, all right? And then the sensitivity, I'm gonna keep it at 50 at default, because again, if it's too high, it could be counting uh, false counts, okay? So you always wanna play around with it if you're not getting accuracy. Then uh, one thing you also wanna do is, uh, if you need to redraw the line, then you can go ahead and click on the draw button and then remodify the size. But since we've already done this before, we're gonna keep it the same, okay? And also want to mention that if you need to clear the count, you can also clear the uh, clear counting result button here, and then that will put everything back to zero, okay? So once that's done, I'm gonna go back into the storage menu here. Now, when we search for the statistics, it's gonna be different than the playback, but if you wanna record the camera for normal recording, don't forget to enable the schedule too, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and select the camera, all right? Enable the recording schedule, and then of course you can select it however you choose fit, so invent, I'm gonna use that, and then go ahead and copy to all the days. Click OK, apply, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the snapshot schedule. Enable the recording schedule as well too. Select event, copy to all the days that I want, click OK, and then apply. Now I'm gonna to go to the live menu, and you can see the entry number here. So now we're gonna demonstrate this in action. So as you can see here, it counted them as two, okay? So to search for that, we're gonna to go to the main menu, and then we're gonna to go to VCA, and then under VCA search, you're gonna go counting, okay? Then what you're gonna do is select the camera of your choice, which is D3 in this example, and then you can select an option of either total, people entered, or people left, okay? And then of course, again, the report type, you can do a daily, weekly, or monthly, or yearly report, okay? So I'm gonna select it as daily, and then you can display the result in either chart format or table format. To display the result, you're gonna click count, okay? Then you can see it as a chart format here. And if I wanna see it as a table, then you just select table, okay? And that concludes our tutorial on how to set up the people counting analytics on the Uniview system through the web browser and on the NVR interface. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified for future videos. Once again, thanks for watching.